Hey everybody, welcome back to Technical's channel and today I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul. I am again splicing a couple videos from the past maybe few weeks, uh, maybe last week or two of the other um, items I purchased at the Dollar Tree that I want to go ahead and share with you. First off, as I had pretty and flawed, had a uh, haul the wishbone uh, dressing so I went to the Dollar Tree and see if they had them and they had actually more different kinds I'm not sure if she mentioned that there's other ones so I picked up three different ones they had like maybe five different um, flavors and I only picked up these EVOO dressings um, this is the garlic and basil Italian flavor this is the one I think she had hauled and then the Caesar vinaigrette and then the sun-dried tomato they also had like a lemon herb and some other something with peppers and such like that but I only picked up these three um, we've been trying to eat more salads lately ever since Thanksgiving we've been kind of like oh we need to eat a little bit better before Christmas time so I just wanted to go ahead and try these out and since they are new these do expire here May 15 2017 it says on this one and then April 20, 2017 on this one and then this is April 24, 2017. So some of these we probably have to try first and they don't want you to put it in the fridge. Remove from the fridge, let it sit, shake and stand. I also finally found the candles. Everyone's been talking about the little coffee candles and these are so cute. I really love the container. These are really like a plastic -y kind. I have actually all the I think all the scents. There was a hazelnut one I don't have with me right now. It's actually in the kitchen. This is a French vanilla coffee and this one smells really really good. And then this one is the caramel macchiato. I haven't tried this one yet. I've tried the French vanilla one and the hazelnut and, the ha and they're both like they really are very strong. The throw on it is really really good. I can smell it throughout my whole house so um, when I go into my bedroom and I close the door and I walk and I open it and it's still on, I could smell it even upstairs in my house. So it's, it's like burning in my kitchen and then all of a sudden I'll come outside. Um, my husband keeps saying it smells like waffles or pancakes with syrup to him. So it doesn't think it really smells like coffee. It just smells really, really sweet. It's nice though. And I also picked up these luminescence ones. I had picked this one up in the past and I forgot to haul them. I just want to see how they worked out. This is the cinnamon sticks ones. And it actually does an okay job. It's not like... The strongest throw, I think in a small room, it would really, really work. So I bought maybe like two of these. Uh, I just want to see if it worked at all. And it's kind of nice. Like you walk by in the kitchen, you could smell it in the kitchen. And my house is pretty open. So um, I can't smell it like in another room like these candles can. But um, at least when I walk by in my kitchen, I can still smell the cinnamon smell. And that was not too bad. I don't mind that. I also picked up these socks, these men's uh, tube socks. I had picked up the women ones that were like a little bit smaller and I've used them. I am putting up a DIY what I did with these socks. I picked up some books for my son. I found these Mighty Movers, Big Trucks and Holloway. It looks like there's only these two books there. So I picked up one of, one of each. They, um, he likes cars and trucks nowadays so it's pretty fun that um, he might start looking at them and say truck hopefully. So I like that they're different stuff like the ambulance. I have this flashcard app that I've been showing him and he's been very interested in that. So hopefully when he looks at the books, he'll probably think the same, you know, get an idea. They also have this uh, Mighty Movers, uh, I guess it's another Mighty Movers, but different diggers and dumpers. And this is by a different brand though, but they have um, kind of more of the realistic looking um, trucks and dump trucks. So I thought that would be good for him too. And then we can point these out as we see them on the road. One quick thing, I picked up 10 of uh, these sack bags, the pink ones. They come in all sorts of colors. These are small treat bags you can get in the party section. They usually come in reds. They have a lime green, a yellow, like a really dark blue. And I've used them in my son's birthday party. I did some Sesame Street um, characters. I just put their faces on there, actually their eyeballs, and just kind of left the rest of the shape like that. So um, I needed more pink ones. I actually use these when I um, have friend mail. And um, they were pretty good, so I like them. They're not like the large lunch bag sizes, they're a little bit smaller than that, but I think these are work well well. And then the last thing I got on this haul are these stickers. I thought they were really, really interesting. I've never seen these before. I'm not certain if anybody's hauled them. I haven't been up to date on people's hauls, but I thought these were so cute. Um, they're called sticker totes, and they have these, like this one's all the emojis, and there's like four sheets. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out so you can see what they are. I kind of already opened them on the side just so we can see. Okay, so. 
And I might just remove them from their totes because, oh, they're pretty long, guys. So these are like little stickers like that. Um, these are emoji stickers. These are super cute, guys. Let's see. And I like that they have like this little wrap. They're not taped up or when you remove the tape, your stickers will get all torn. So this is a smaller of the set. It's just like a little tube. Oh, that's cute. So that's one set. Okay. They look like that. So they have the little words. You can just put these on your planners. These are like good planner stickers. Okay. And then the other set is this one. With the Peace Love Owls. They're the really big owl sticker. These are cute. Super cute. Love that. Plastic bands. We have those. These would be good for uh, goodies for pocket letters. If it seems to fit really nicely. And the last one of that, we have more cherries and some look like mustaches, I guess. This one I think is really cute. They look like the nerdy set, kind of like eighty stuff. Oh, proud to be a geek. Okay, so they have a little dog with his glasses on. This is cute. I like the little girl on there. Cute stickers. I kind of like this one. I think this is my favorite out of the set. That's cute. Look at this. So this is like planner style sticker. That's cute. Creative nerd. That's cute, the glasses and the sneakers. That's really cute. And, oh, these are really cute. I wish they had more of these. They have like the little fruits with the, oh, the piggies with the glasses and the Erlenmeyer flasks. That's cute. There's a phone with little different faces. These are adorable. I really like this set. Yeah, they'd be perfect. And this is, they came in these little boxes. I had quite, I, these are the only three I found. I'm assuming these are all they had. So look for these if you're into these little stickers. This is the uh, BFF. Like I said, this is the love and peace one. And proud to be a geek creative nerd. So lots of these are repeats. I did pick up more of these tapes. I've been, I just started using this one. And since it's Christmas season's coming up, I figured I need a couple more of these just because I know they don't give you very much product on them. And I like these. I like how they package pretty well. Um, when they accidentally get stuck, you know, when they uh, tape together, you can still pull them out as opposed to like duct tape and um, the real brand ones. Um, and they cut too when you cut with your scissors, does it doesn't leave a residue on your scissors. And so um, I find that these are easier to package, um, the Tool Bench brand, but they do not give you much. Pens, these color therapy pens. I've seen them in the past um, and I decided since I see them all, I might as well pick up all of them. These are the three that they had. Um, I just realized there's like no red in any of them. I don't know if you guys had these before, if you ever seen red in any of those, because I'm just noticing that's the only color I don't see out of this set of 12. Let me know. Uh, maybe it's just not around. I also found these pens. I finally, I did find the Clip Clicks, um, the eight pack. These were at the register. I would check at the stationery section and I would never find it. So I was, I was just kind of glad I saw them. And I've been hearing pretty good reviews on it. So I do like ballpoint pens. Um, these are one millimeter. Um, I like that they come in all these colors as well. I've always stared away from buying these because they always seem so little. Because <laughs> I know these are, there's 36 pieces of these. I know they're very small. And I use the ones for the 99 cent store, the foam um, type of tapes. But I thought, you know, sometimes there are times where I just want to stick one thing and I don't want that much of a thickness. I don't feel like taking my tape runner or cutting a piece of the, um, you know, the double-sided scotch tape. I don't want to use those, but you kind of want to circle. So I wanted to always try this. And it's only a dollar, so might as well see if I like it. Glue Dots is a known brand, and it's permanent too, so I wanted to try that out. So picked up this, these oversized uh, sequences. I know I've hauled this before in the past, but um, sometimes you don't find them, so I got more of these. These are a little bit larger than the normal sequence that the Dollar Tree usually um, carries. I found these nail stickers. These are new to me. I thought they were really pretty, especially the this one with the bows and stuff. I thought those were so cute. And then those with the polka dots. And then these with the flowers. I thought these were so cute. For my son, I know I had hauled the other ones, like a stack of these had two. You know, these are like the Legos. But this one also has a double sided one. I think they give you two. And I like that they gave you two. And it's this one's like the wide one. 
Um, my, my son loves playing with the Legos nowadays, and he, he's actually having fun with them, but they don't really click together very long, and he likes to hold them like a rod, like a, like, like one pure, one whole stick, but each time it falls off, he starts freaking out and starts crying. So I like that they have, you know, a wide one where you can put the two together. And then I was looking some more to make sure there's other, there was different colors, and I just saw this one with the yellow, and it's flatter than that. It's probably like half the size. So either or, I wish they could give you two though. I just realized they didn't give you, they give you two on this one, but not so much. So they give you like one, two, three, four, five Legos here. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get more on this one. So you gotta kind of really make sure you count them. Um, I also found these LED light bulbs, you guys. I know they carry like the sunbeam light bulbs, but these are the LED ones. These are bright whites. I was hoping I was gonna find um, the one that I'm using right now. This is the light I'm actually using. It key, um, I use these for my videos and stuff. I like using the bright lights. And I asked my husband, well, after I bought like maybe a couple of these, I didn't realize that it's, it's still yellow. I like using white light when I'm doing my projects. Um, so I have like this one light bulb right now <laughs> that I'm using for filming at this moment. And I found out that my husband said you have to get the cool cool white and not the bright white. Because the bright white still kind of makes it, the room yellow. Um, let me see if I turn this off. This is how the color will kind of look like. And this is how it looks like when I use my bright white light. I don't have one of those fancy lights that people use when they do their videos. I just use a bright LED light. And it's a cool white color that you want if you want to have your lights a little bit brighter when you film. I also bought these uh, four pack of sheet grippers. I've never seen this before. This is by Home Collections. And I do have a really um, tall like mattress. I don't know if it's like an 18 inch and sometimes after a while your sheets start to get like your fitted sheets start to get a little shrunk up after a while and it doesn't stay as much so I was thinking maybe I can go ahead and try this out and see if it works. And for a dollar I might as well try it. It looks like that in the back. I only found one. I don't even know what section I found this at. I think I found in the sock so I don't even think it was supposed to be there. I just picked it up because I thought hey this is something I've never seen before. Let me know if you guys try this before. And I did buy some stuff for a DIY. I am planning on doing some type of Christmas DIY. Not certain if I'm going to post it <laughs> because I want to see how it works out. So I just picked up these socks and I thought these are you know good buy. There's two sets in here. A bag of rice. Uh, at our home so I just want to try this out for here and then I also picked up some pom-poms and yeah I'm gonna probably work on that DIY and see how that turns out if it turns out the way I want I'll probably be posting the video so just a couple of things I did pick up are just some of these little foil pans and um, plan on making some casseroles some um, and um, little things and it's easier just to have these around I also have some bread pans that I picked up. They have it's it's this week's um, actual um, item of the week. So because of Thanksgiving, stocking up on these are perfect. After you're done with them, you just throw them away. So I just got a couple of them. This one is with the little plastic. So that's just one. And then this comes in a pack of two. And then this is a giant size. They also have the bigger ones. A lot of the stores where are doing away with the plastic bags. So I'm surprised this Dollar Tree that I went to hasn't. Um, remove their bags yet and used recycled bags. But um, yeah, because yesterday I was like, oh, I thought I was gonna have to pay for a bag or something like that, but I didn't. So I went and picked up some of these trash uh, bags, the scented one, this is the mountain um, air scented. There's 28 bags of those. And then the rose ones. I know I heard there's another one that's like a vanilla smell or something, but these are the only ones they have. So I just thought I'd get them. They are the 13 gallons. So I'm going to go ahead and try those out. Another one of these covers. I love these. They're just basically like shower caps um, for your bowls. And I think these are perfect. I also use them for my son's like Legos that we got from the Dollar Tree. I put it in one of his buckets and I didn't have a lid on that one. So I went ahead and just put one of these covers on it. So whenever I take it around with me places, it doesn't fall out. I just pick some cheddar feel goods. I guess they changed their packaging and they're making it different names. But I used to always get these popcorners with the white cheddar. But they're not calling it white cheddar. They're calling it cheddar or feel good. So I'm not certain if these taste the same. I used to really love these before and swear by them. But I haven't gotten these in a while. So the penny stick pretzels. I was looking for the Snyder ones. But they didn't have any more. So I just got these. Let's have some snack on. We probably make a dip. I also really, really love these HK Anderson's peanut butters. Whenever I'm really like... Um, 
in a pinch and I'm at the Dollar Tree and I'm starving. I tend to get these a lot. I don't know why. I really don't even like peanut butter that much, but whenever I eat these, I just... It just tastes good. Salt and peanut butter just seems really good to me. And I know you can buy like those bigger uh, bottles like at um, Costco or even at Walmart and stuff. They sell bigger ones and it's probably a better price. But I think these are quite filling. There's only four ounces and I think it's a great amount of um, serving size for me. I don't actually finish it all at one sitting. Picked up more of these veggie straws. You know, I've been going to the store. I went to Walmart looking for just maybe a bigger bag, maybe a better deal. But I don't ever see them. So these are just good to have. My son likes to have these. Um, and if, I would wish it didn't have, like, the sea salt you know, flavor. But he really enjoys those. These honey roasted cashew snack mixes. I used to get these all the time when I was pregnant. <laughs> I love, love these. They have all the different flavors. They have the ones I think... Uh, the fruit and nut. There is another one with, um, I can't remember. I has like some banana chips. There's another one with some, even like the fake M&Ms from before, but I didn't see those. So I just picked up these because I love honey roasted. I actually like the sesame chips the most. It's my favorite part of the snack. But I got the pretty one of these. And then I also got this one. I thought these were so pretty. And then they have the one with a lot of splotches of the same kind of color design. I think these are just really, really pretty. I also found the nail art finally with the bows and these are not going to be for what they're going to be used for. You know, I'm going to make them for some type of design or something, put on a pocket letter, you know. Yeah, these are so cute. I really, really wanted these. But these are awesome. It's a flashlight, but it's also one of those rechargeable emergency flashlights. So this is how you use it. I really like it. It works as it is as a regular, probably like a LED flashlight, I think. But they're self-charging. And how you charge it is, this is a little uh, trigger that you use, and you kind of let that go, and then what you do is you just keep doing this for a while, and it helps charge it without having a battery. So I thought these were so useful to have. So you can keep doing that for a while. And then when you're finished with that, you just put it away. So this is a really great stocking stuff for, for some guy. Um, I usually, I have like the self charging um, radio. Um, I got a couple years ago. Actually, we got it from from like Amazon or something and you do the same thing. You actually have to kind of crank it to make the battery go so you don't have to have a battery all the time and I thought like, those are really cool to have. So I might get a other couple ones. I think they had like a purple and some red color or maybe even orange too but this is great to have and it's a great stocking stuffer. And I finally did find these stickers. I've been looking all over for them. Um, these are really, really pretty. So this is the birthday one. 76 counts of these. This is cute. There's a little lion on that one. Some numbers and a little banner. These are really pretty. And then this one. I like the little bike on that one. And then this side. Let's enjoy the ride. And then it kind of matches with this color. So I get a little confused because the same color scheme is on this one. Like the navy blue and peach color. It's the family one. And then it goes like that too. Really cool. And I got the one with the life. And I love the colors on like the pastels. So they do remind me of the ones that they had maybe a couple months ago. But I have these waxed um, tissue treat wraps. And I thought they were very useful to have. Um, I got another one too and I can't find it. It's blue with some sun snowflakes. It's somewhere, probably another bag somewhere. I just probably didn't take it with me. But these are the two I got. And another one. And I'm not going to use them for just treats. You can use them for treats, but I'll probably be using for, you know, uh, a wrap for a pocket letter. I do really think it's really pretty. And they did have these in the party section of all things. They didn't have it in, like, food or anything. You think they would have it there. So I found these things at Refresh Detailing Wipes. Um, I guess it says for the car, but it smells really good. This leather one. And it smells like pina colada. And I open it and you can... Oh, this one's actually open by accident. I guess someone did open it. Darn it. This was the last one I saw there, so that's why I can't really choose it. But it does smell like, uh, this one smells like pina colada, even though it's called Hawaiian Sunrise. And I do like that. It's really, really big. This is a leather cleaner. And then I got the detail, your car, and it's also the same smell as well. I don't think this one was open, hopefully. Yeah. So this is kind of okay. I didn't know that. So it protects your car. See if my husband wants to try it or even use it in my own car. And they give you 25 sheets, so I didn't think that was too bad. It's Tahitian Breeze renews it. I like to put these in my room with my dogs. Um, they have their own little room, so I like to put this in their little dog room because it gets a little funky. Picked up this green large 
basket. I know you guys can see it's just a regular square one, but it's the large ones, not the small ones. I haven't seen a green one before. I've had some, all these other colors, but not this. A couple boring items. Just picked up some aluminum foil. I was hoping they'd have the Reynolds wrap one, but they didn't have any more. They only had this kind. And that's the pop-up ones. There's 25 sheets of this. There's 27 um, feet of this. So you have all the different sizes, but um, I do feel that these are thinner than the Reynolds wrap brand, but it works when you need some on a pinch. Cheez-Its as well in the regular flavor original and the white cheddar. So I just picked up more of these. I like that they're smaller because if I got the big one, I'll probably be eating all of them and I know I shouldn't have too much of those. I also picked up, uh, this is the other smell I got. Uh, it's a pine smell by Renews It for Christmas. That would be nice to have. It's around the Christmas area, my Christmas tree. You could put those in there. I know I might just put this in the bathroom. But I haven't seen this one since the limited edition. Just wanted to get that one. And then just some gum, an extra gum. Pack of four and these Trident Berry Berries. These are really, really yummy. Um, they only give 20 pieces though, but they're so good. I did find this. This is the last one they had, Grab a Gadget. And it's not in the box. I'm actually using it right now. And I like that they give you the the phone stand and the regular stand. It basically has a little sticker on one end. You can remove it and you can hold your uh, iPads or whatever tablets in place or your phone. I gave one to my, I gave this one to my godson and I'm using this tablet for my own iPad. Got more of the retinol makeup wipes. I do love using these. They work really well. I don't feel like I'm having any allergic reactions to it. For the iPad as well, I just got this uh, iPad mini screen protector now that my son is old touching in you know the iPads and stuff now I just want to find something to just in case he drops it I know it's not going to protect the iPad but at least it won't scratch the glass Dollar Tree brand it's a green briar but just to have some more protection on the iPad I did pick up these bags though the Febreze Gain ones the tall kitchen ones with 13 gallons haven't tried these before but there's only five but I'll try that and also these scented ones people love these I hear they're kind of thin but it works I suppose so we got the garbage ones. This is only this is a four gallon. I kind of needed the smaller ones for my trash cans, and then the tall white ones. It's a vanilla scented. This is a Mountain Breeze. I did pick up some toothpaste. I know this is not much. It says it has twice as more uh, versus the eight point, the point eighty five ounces, but it's just like a little travel size. Cookie cutters. I'm gonna try to use these in a project. Um, so they have like the. Stocking, stars, a bell. I think there's a gingerbread man, a candy cane, and some other kind of snowman maybe. Yeah, so there's like six different designs in here. Pretty cool. Foiled emoji stickers. I thought they were so cute. I love that. And then I got this cute little paper craft, this door hanger. I just like it for this unicorn and the, uh, the little teapot. Of course, I won't be using that for what it's meant for for a door hanger. I'm actually going to probably use it in a project. thought that was cute. The princess. I uh, found some more gem stickers. I found the red ones. And they gave me 315 of those. Some green ones. And some like yellowish ones. Kind of remind me of kind of gold. You could still use these for Christmas. Other sticker. Creative Town sticker sheets. Um, this is a little sweet shop. I thought they were really, really cute. I liked all the stickers in it. It looks like that. You can use this in a flip book actually use the part as a flipbook as well. Then I found the ones that are kind of like the foresty animals. Can't remember if I have this one, but not. it has like a little box on it. Picked up more bubble mailers because you can always use them. They have the 3M brand ones. And then I also have, from a different time, I picked up more of just this kind, the Jock brand. Um, they do give you two, so it doesn't really matter. I try to pick up the 3M whenever I can if I see them. But that's all they had. And I just picked up uh, these little clasp envelopes. I'll be using these also for my meals. They have all of Christmas, of course, out. And I had to get the gift boxes. Aren't they cute? This one has a little fox cute design on him. This is a, kind of a 14 and a half by 9 and 7 16 size. So it's a good shirt size. And then it has that one. So it's like that. That's the other design inside that pack of three. Cute. Okay, I picked up a coloring book. This is going to be like a stocking stuffer. That, and I got the crayons. Just picked up some crayons for this as a stocking stuffer for Christmas. Picked up these little books. And they're like Feely Books, Clumsy Monster. And they're like hard, you know, the hard uh, chipboard books. I thought that was cute. My son loves 
Feely books. And then I got him the other one, the Friendly Monster. I think there's another one I don't have. It's the Silly Monster. I didn't see that, but that's okay. Picked up a Christmas one as well. It's just the Cars one. And it's just singing. So just got him some of these little bookies that I'm going to give to him as soon as I'm done with this video. I went there specifically for more googly eyes. I know I had hauled the other colored ones, but I really needed a black one for a specific project. I knew those. I know I have them somewhere and I can't find them. Don't you just hate that when you can't find some of the things you have? And these specifically I cannot find. So I'm glad to find those at my Dollar Tree. Got the Bandy Trolls. So cute. I like the little guy there. He looks like angry. <laughs> Last bag, you guys. This is a lot. I, I do apologize. I found the different yarns. They have a lot of like brand name yarns that I used to always frequently buy um, in the past. But they have the Peyton's Metallic really really pretty yarn you can make some pretty tassels i like the texture on this it's really really soft and then they have the bernat uh, vivas and i got the one with the bluish purple i will not be making well i mean i could make scars but i'm actually making something else with these i found this color baker's twine i don't think i have this color and i need it for the light blue really the project did find the aline's techie glue found the sticker sheet that was adorable. 17 of these, and it's a pop-up one, so they have like a nice texture to them. Some felt sheets, they're small. It looks like they're very thin, but they are perfect for a project. I like the size of it. Um, and they give you the 14 of these, so that's not bad at all. You could buy the eight and a half by 11 ones, or a little bit larger from each, you know, like each sheet by itself, like at Joanne's and Michael's, and they're like 49 cents. And depending if it has like any textures on it, they're a little bit more expensive. They can run you up to even like, a dollar to two dollars depending on which kind you have it looks like it comes in green pink black white red and this royal bluish almost purple color refrigerated magnets i use these in all my projects i haven't seen these before though um this is the star wars ones i thought they were cute and they look like that i don't know if you could see it very well through the little wrapper but it has like you know yoda and C3PO or R2D2. And then they have the frozen ones, and they picked the frozen ones. It looks like this. There's like Olaf. They, they look cute. They're like drawn kind of style. It says snow, ice, and everything nice. That's really cute. And then I picked up these refrigerated magnets. And they look like that. Very, very cute. And then the snowman style one. I think they're just three. And it's a little birdie on that one, so it looks like that. And then the ones with the snowman, looks like that. And they have like a background to it now, so it's just not green or bluish now. So pretty. So anyway, that's it for this dollar trial. This is a lot of stuff. I, I do apologize if I went too fast, but I'm trying to put this all away so I can go ahead and start crafting and um, putting up this video for you guys. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.